Hey guys, RingDirX here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I am doing a pre 2.6 live release of the Drake Caterpillar. Just going to do a quick little walkthrough here, uh, go through some of the, the finer points of the ship. Um, I'll tell you what, I have to say, um, after thinking about it, this has to be one of the most unique ships of the game, um, obviously, but. Um, if you think about it, this is the first ship that actually has fl flown from a pilot seat that is not at the front of the ship. Think about the Connie, the Starfare, the fighters, everything we've flown, the Cutlass. Uh, everything's, all the ships, their pilot seat is at the, at the front of the ship. This, you're, sit back, you're sitting back two-thirds away from the front, so it makes flying the ship very, very unique. And you have to take into consideration all this extra mass in front of you as you navigate asteroids and... and in between other ships, that kind of thing. So it's definitely a unique flying experience. Um, the uh, I have to say the ship is is just just very very cool uh, from a uniqueness standpoint. Look at the thrusters. Nice job on the thrusters here, guys. Um, it definitely flies surprisingly well. Uh, it 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 responds to. Uh, the controls um, way better than I thought. It turns nice. Um, to change trajectory, it does take a little bit of extra oomph. Um, but uh, it feels like I'm flying a big empty box. It really does have that feel to it. Uh, I, I'm going to make some assumptions here that once you have cargo in this thing, f you know, filled up, it's going to behave a lot differently. So we'll see what happens. I, you know, you know, I don't think we have all the mechanics in place yet. Obviously, we don't have cargo yet, but I think it's going to have a big impact on how the ship handles. Uh, but right now, it handles very, very well. So uh, anyway, so let's get this guy back, uh, back level here. So um, this ship is unique in another way in that it actually has two crew quarters. Um, so for those who don't know, this command module actually separates, hence the thrusters on the back of that thing, if you noticed earlier, was not they were not firing, but once it separates, it, those thrusters will work uh, to some degree. And underneath the crew area is a crew quarters, which you'll see here in a second. Um, and then inside the main body of the cargo portion of the ship, there's actually another uh, crew quarters there. So um, now what I'm going to do before I get out of my seat is I'm going to actually put this thing in rotation. And it's a neat little trick. If you hold the rotation button down and at the same time get out of your seat, it'll remain in, in rotation. So pretty wild. All right, so here we are. Pilot, co-pilot. And we've got two more crew stations there. If you go down this ladder, this takes you to the, the lower uh, area where you have, there's that front window, a couple of bunks, eating area. There's probably a stove to the left there and a toilet, which um, the problem here is this is, in this early release, there's a bug. There's this graphic here that sort of physically pushes, keeps me from going over there. And if I do it too much, it'll kick me out of the ship, so I'm not going to do that. And that was a, uh, this is just another space of some kind. So we'll uh, go back up here. Now we will go to the main part of the ship. So you got two pressurized doors for when this ship, part of the ship separates. And another bug there, which I'm sure they'll fix later. Uh, we'll go all the way to the other side, and here we are at the tractor beam control section of the ship. Get a nice view of the front and the back. So pretty neat. Alright, so we're going to go back in here. That's a staircase, which we'll go down later. This is the server room, so all the ship's computers are in here pretty wild. And then this is the power plant. And that's that's just where we just came from. So power plant. 
this is the engine slash jump drive area. It actually takes up two floors. So this is like the components for the jump and engine, jump drive and engine. And then this will take you down to the physical part of the engine here. Very, very detailed. I love this. Um, here is a functioning engineer's console here. then while you're down here you have access to there's the stairway we saw earlier that just takes you back up to that other part of the ship this is lower hallway just takes you to the elevator over there this takes you to the turrets this takes you to the lower turret um, so right now in this build it's the the uh, alignment is not quite fixed yet. Oh, it is. It wasn't a second ago. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at those lasers from the outside. Alright, yeah, uh, this is the first time in, in all the video trials on this that I actually got into the seat properly. Before I was like halfway stuck in there, you can only see part of the laser, so that's a surprise. Uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. So, that's a staircase back up to where the tractor beam control was. This hallway here will take us to okay, come on. Um, this is the elevator access for underneath the ship now I don't remember seeing this in any of the SIG videos so this was a really neat surprise so very very cool I'm trying to figure out what exactly the purpose of that is other than maybe bringing supplies for the crew because this doesn't really give you easy access to the cargo area of the front end of the ship so um, maybe just to get the crew out of the ship because I don't think there's another way out other than the front end of the ship so so there's controls for the elevator here and if you're on the elevator there's controls here too so very nice now this will get you to the crew quarters for the cargo area. So here we are, we have four more bunks. Uh, toilet, storage, sink, stove, more storage. So so there's the uh, living area here. This will take you now to the front end of the cargo area. So you have four modules. This is module one. This is module two. Module 3, going into Module 4, and then of course the front area. So um, every cargo area here and all the ones behind us have access to controlling the doors from below here and up top there, which you'll see here momentarily. So very, very cool. back out you get some pretty this is why I put the ship in spin mode <laughs> get that cool effect going on here all right so now we'll go back in here and you can access the door controls here and here got a little stuck but that's okay and then if you go up the ladder here so now you get a nice upper area view of the cargo hold so go 
And again, like I said, up here you get the same controls here and there. And then here's Cargo Bay 2. You know, I can't complain. I'm getting 170 frames per second in this. So, uh, for those who are wondering what that is, and then there's, oh, there's the command module there. We'll get a better view of it over here, so. Yeah, so, very, very cool. Oh, that one didn't open too well. Let's try that again. I'm an idiot, I'm over the wrong one. Okay, so a little bit of a graphic glitch going on here. That's okay. This is an alpha, so. Alright, so that pretty much is the tour of the ship here. Um It looks like a little Call of Duty level just spinning in space, isn't it? Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, subscribe if you like the video. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you next time.